Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Christensen, your host on Community Connection. A better understanding of the past helps us appreciate the progress we've made throughout history. Today, I'm joined by Chris Larson from the Fort Douglas Living History Detachment, here to tell us what they do to preserve the history and knowledge of the Civil War. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, glad to be here. You are wearing a very cool costume. Thank you. Uh, we actually refer to it as a uniform. Well, I, that's <laughs> right when I said it. I'm like, it's not a costume, it's yes, a uniform. It, it, is a, it is a museum quality replica. So it is as close as you can get to an original. Wow, how does that feel? It looks itchy. Uh, very itchy. It's 100% wool, just like they had back then. Um, a lot of it is handmade, hand sewn. Um, oh. And uh, it, it just adds that, bit, that much more of a, an element of authenticity to what we do. And why do you feel that's so important? You know, the biggest thing is to understand. Uh, we can't go back in time, obviously, but if we have uniforms and equipment that are exact to the, to the stitch of what they had back in the Civil War, and as we're out marching and, and going, oh, you know, I, I hate this, this is, you know, this hurts, why am I doing this? You realize that you're feeling the same thing that they would have felt back then, because you know, their uniforms fit the same way. It, it tugged in the same place and, you know, and, and you really just get a real appreciation for what you're doing, what they went through. Yeah, that's a good point because people are the same. Of course they would have felt the same way exactly. in the uniform. And so how do you feel like you have learned and changed by being a part of this? You know, I, I, I've learned so much more of the, the life of the soldier. You know, everybody, they think that, you know, the Civil War is, is battle you know, and, and they would just go out and shoot and that's it. And what you really learn is soldiers were very uh, bored. Um, they, it was a lot of drill, you know, they, they said that you'd wake up in the morning, you would drill, you'd drill some more, then you'd eat, then you'd drill some more, you'd drill, you'd eat, and then finally you'd drill some more, you know? Yeah. Um, and it was, but it was so important to be able to do that because in a battle scenario, you had to be able to make those movements, just uh, execute them exactly, otherwise you're in big trouble on, on the field. And so. You, you learn a lot of, of what life was like for the soldier, what they ate, what they went through, what, uh, you know, how different things affected them. I've heard about this soldier, <coughs> Albert Sidney Johnston. Tell mm -hmm. me about him. Albert Sidney Johnston, he actually was a Confederate general. He passed away uh, shortly after the Battle, battle of Shiloh. Uh, he was wounded at Shiloh, but um, before going out to the Civil War, he was out here in Utah based out at Camp Floyd. He's the one that, of course, led Johnston's army out here in 1858 to um, suppress the Mormon rebellion, as they say, um, and he established Camp Floyd, which is just west of, uh, of Lehigh. So we have some Civil War history here in Utah. We do, and that's what a lot of people don't realize is we Utah had the highest concentration of soldiers west of the Mississippi up until 1861. And you know, a lot of people don't realize that, but uh, Camp Floyd was a, was a huge place. Um, lots of soldiers, lots of, uh, of civilian support staff, um, and you know, a lot of people just don't know that it's even there. You know, they drive out to Five Mile Pass and they just don't even know it's there. Yeah. So, so w what can we expect when we come, and why should an average person like me <laughs> come out there and learn something? You know, the the big thing is is when we have our events, um, you can come out and you can learn everything from what soldiers wore what they ate, uh, what weapons they fired, um, what they were like in personal life. We have to remember that soldiers were civilians before they were soldiers. And so, you know, you'll find out what civilian life was like back then yeah. um, and what it was, you know, for, for the men going off to, to war, men and women. Well, that is really an education. I think something that we should all take advantage of being so close to yes, us here definitely. in Utah. So thank you for coming to share and being dressed in your uniform. <laughs> thank you. So that we could all learn. If you would like to find out more about Fort Douglas and their living history detachment, please visit kbyu11.org and click on the community tab. Thank you so much for joining us and please be with us next time on Community Connection.